Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I don't know what it is about December, but we're gonna continue rolling on. We got a nice two hour day today, I'll take it. Today's trade did not have the legs to continue to the downside. Today's trade was a short position on AMD and it looked pretty good to start out and then it sort of just stumbled and had some troubles getting going. So no whales, no monsters today. Um, as you know, I like to follow this last 15 minute candle in the pre-market and then this morning I was looking to take it short. Now if you remember back to yesterday's trade and if you haven't seen that trade, I'll pop a card up right here. But if you remember, we had volume that was 250,000 on this candle right here, that third from the last candle. Now if you look down here, you can see that candle had 19,000 this morning versus 250,000 yesterday morning. Then we stepped up to 13,000, I mean down to 13,000, and then back up to 24,000. So very light volume in the pre-market on AMD today, very different than yesterday. Also, yesterday's third from the market open on the 15 minute time frame, the third candle in, had a massive wick to the downside. If I roll it back, I can show it to you. Right here, this candle, 242,818 with this big bottom wick. That bottom wick got bought up pretty quickly, so it told me there was a lot of buying interest in the pre-market waiting to see what was gonna happen moving into the market open. So today, I was looking for indicators of direction, which way we might go, and it just ultimately never really showed anything. It just maintained 19,000, 13,000, 24,000, and then we opened. So let's move myself back down here, and why don't we jump into this trade? So we've got the recording here, and when I hit play, you're gonna see kind of a crazy fill. This thing pops up, volume's starting to build, and then it whips down, and it's a delayed fill. So I've been triggered in but the order sometimes is just a little funny in its delay. And so you'll see 100 shares pop up, then you're gonna see 200, then wait for it, wait for it, 300, 315. It's extremely slow, 340, 488, 509. You can see the orders up here just trying to come in. And then I finally got full at 1,200 shares. We're up about $85, 62, 49, 73. We're just waiting. And now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna edit that stop loss because I wanna move that thing to 2R once price action gets to 2.5R. 2.5R is 750 bucks. We're gonna watch for it on the board over here. We're watching for $750 and then I'll fire off that updated stop loss. Once I get that, I'm looking for it to have legs to keep pushing beyond my stop loss, keep going in the downward direction. That way I can play it bar by bar as other 15 minute candles open up. So right now you can see we're up about 200 bucks. We're hanging tight, 250s, back down to 200. Taking its time. We're starting to jump up close to 300. There we are, 337, back to 200 and something back up to almost 400. So now I'm starting to think, okay, we're at 505, 553, 480s. I'm waiting for it to pick up and keep pushing the downside. We have cleared this support, so that's encouraging. That means we've got a little bit of protection moving to the downside. Back to 500. I'm getting ready to edit that order. Looking for 750 on that P&L. Once I hit 750, I'm gonna fire off that updated stop loss so that I can lock in that profit. 600, 661, 724. It almost got there and it kind of backed off. Back to 600, back to 700. Very soon we're gonna pop above 750 here. We go all the way up, here it comes 780s, 790s. I fire that off and we get into the 800. So we're at 817 right now, I pause for just a second. This is my 2R updated stop loss. So what I'm looking for now is for that thing to just keep rolling to the downside. If it can do that, I'll play it bar by bar on the way down and hope for a big move, try and catch one of the monsters. But as you can see here, it pushed down to the 830s, back to 800, upper 700, 750, 700. It's just kind of hanging. I'm wanting it, I'm encouraging it to drop. <laughs> it won't listen. 
ultimately stops me out there for almost 600 bucks. Kind of a replay exactly of yesterday. It's been kind of funny. These, these whip, they just keep whipping back on me and taking me out. And while I'm fine with it because the strategy allows me to catch the monster trades, if it is a monster, I put book profit again today at almost 600 bucks, almost two R. Really happy with the trade. I'm curious to hear about your trades today. What tickers did you play? How did your strategy work out? And did you manage it to a T? Did you break any of your rules? If you did, drop a comment below. Let me know you broke your rules and let's talk about it and work through it. Let's figure out a plan for you so that you don't break those rules or so that you're not even tempted to break those rules. This trade went really well. I'm really happy with it. And if I flip over to AMD's chart, you can see it dropped and then came all the way back up. So really nothing here other than getting to 2R and taking some profit. It did drop later. It wicked down but came back. Then it sagged and then ended up reversing late in the day. So AMD kind of had another day. Yesterday was choppy. Pre-market was quiet. And today, kind of choppy. So I'm not sure what's going to happen in AMD moving forward. Maybe we'll get a, a drop, continuation to the downside tomorrow. We'll see what happens. But stay tuned and turn those bell notifications on because at the end of this month, I'm doing a full recap of my TraderView.com account where I'm going to show you the number of trades I took. I'm going to show you the total profit, total losses, how many R's, how many trades, all the ins and out. We're going to go through every step of it in my account. I'm going to show you the insides of it filtered to December, and we'll go over that on January 1, right after the new year. We'll get into that. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you got some value from this channel, from this episode. I'd really appreciate it. It helps the channel. And if you want to join our private Facebook group, go to the YouTube banner, hit the link. I'll get you set up, and you can join 180 plus of us who like to talk the markets over in the Facebook group. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you tomorrow.